Hi, computer games help people to learn about how early computers worked and how to program them. And now because quantum computers are complex technology and hard to understand, using quantum programming to create simple games can help us understand how they work and how to program them. Even there is an article about quantum poker. The authors of this article said purpose of this game is building an engaging tool to learn the basic rules of quantum computing. It's so easy to understand. And even you can play rock, paper, scissors, lizard, spark against a real quantum computer. Code for this game is available in, in the GitHub. And in case you forgot the rules. Scissors cuts paper, paper covers rock. Rock crushes lizard, lizard poisons Spock. Spock smashes scissors, scissors decapitates lizard, lizard eats paper, paper disproves Spock, Spock vaporizes rock, and as it always has, rock crushes scissors. If you are a fan of Minecraft, now you can play a quantum version of it to solve quantum puzzles. Okay, now let's play a game between my computer and IBM's quantum computer game we are playing now is coin game. Coin starts with heads and now quantum computer can choose flip the coin or not. My computer doesn't know what was the decision and now my computer can choose flip the coin or not based on a random module. Quantum computer doesn't know what was the decision and now again quantum computer can choose flip the coin or not. After that coin gets, gets revealed. If it's heads, quantum computer wins, and if it's tails, my computer wins. In the previous video, I showed how to create an IBM account and what packages you should install to be able to work with IBM's quantum computer. Okay, let's run the code. In this game, zero means quantum computer wins, and one means my computer wins. As you can see quantum computer wins 98% of the times and my computer wins 2% of the times. In theory quantum computer should win 100% of the times. That 2% was because of the operational errors in the quantum computer because they're not perfect yet. And the reason that quantum computer wins almost all the times is because it uses advantage named superposition that means it can flip the coin and not flip the coin at the same time I know it's weird that's why I said it's hard to understand how quantum computers work even you can use those weird quantum phenomena to solve some unsolved puzzles